Okay, guys, welcome to uh, Friday afternoon on the uh, Rancho, and we're someplace I haven't been able to spend a lot of time in, or hardly any time for a long time, and that's out in the uh, workshop. And I thought this weekend we'd uh, kind of get ultra organized. We're already clean here. I've managed to keep things uh, cleaned up and in good shape. But uh, we might tear into a couple small uh, projects uh, just to sort of get our uh, feet wet. It has been a while. We got a lot of stuff around here, a lot of electronic equipment, a lot of gear. A lot of people have been writing in and saying, more time in the shop, more time in the shop. Well, I've got all the decorating done for Christmas. I've got everything ultra organized. So maybe now it's a little bit of rosy time. So we're out here in the uh, shop and just to kind of review uh, what we got going on out here I have managed to keep the counter pretty clean over here I've now got that heater that I used in the uh, in the rolling rancho and that's working real nice to keep the place uh, warm it's not super insulated you can see some of the cracks over here no, but it keeps enough of the uh, warm flowing around that it's uh, comfortable. And, uh, you know, there's a lot, a lot of stuff in here. A lot, a lot of uh, things. Some stuff is new, some stuff is old, some things I've gotten rid of. But uh, basically, we want to start moving from uh, demonstration mode. Now, we're going to continue to have demonstrations of... Uh, you know vintage audio equipment and all that but we there's boxes and boxes of stuff and you can see it up here there's just boxes and boxes of stuff that needs a repair mode so besides what we have all these amps that were pulled out of uh, organs when they were trashed plus we have all this down here and as if that's not enough we have this huge box from China which is a gigantic stereo amplifier that uh, has to be built. I got that for next to nothing because, well, the guy couldn't read the Chinese uh, directions on it. So his loss will be my game, and we'll put that uh, Raphael system together. Now let's review a couple other things here today. What's going to be important for our projects? Well, a couple things are going to be very important for the uh, projects. But nothing is more important than uh, safety. And the number one concern when you're working on uh, when you're working on uh, electronic projects is you have to avoid the possibility of electrocution. And one thing that you want to do is you want to keep what you're working on separated from the house mains. In other words, you don't want ever, any potential ever feedback coming through a say a tube amplifier and all of a sudden hitting you with 120 volts 60 cycle you know whatever amps flowing through there uh under the right circumstance the right person well you could just be uh you could just be electrocuted and die so generally we're going to take whatever piece of equipment we're working on and testing and we're going to be putting it into what's called an isolation transformer and what this does is instead of pr uh, plugging directly into the house mains, and this is another smaller one back here, instead of plugging directly into the house uh, power, we'll go ahead, we can go ahead, we can uh, plug this in and it's grounded nicely, you can see there. And then we can plug our piece of electronic uh, gear into it that we're uh, working on. And we don't have to worry about getting uh, getting dangerous currents. At worst, we might feel a little tingle or something like that. Because uh, some of these things that we work on, for example, if you remember the old uh, uh, four-tube uh, true test that I have up there, that's called a hot, a hot chassis. It doesn't use a transformer like you see. Uh, well, this one is. This is just the. Uh, this is just the amplifier here. It's not the power supply, but. If you were to see a uh, unit over here, this tube unit, this uh, Magnavox, you would see that this has a amp, this has a uh, power transformer next to the two speaker outputs, one for each channel, and this uh, takes the uh, 120 volts and converts it down to uh, 
usable powers, B plus power for filament power, for for rail power, for uh, grid, all kinds of things can be tapped off of that. One side can be 120 and the other side could be many taps at many different uh, voltages. But having that isolated inductively, they call it. In other words, there's no, there's no uh, metal connection. There's no, uh, you know, like copper connecting it. It's through the air. It's induction that the power is transferred. Well, you're never really going to pick up that huge big shock as if you we're using uh, plugged in uh, directly like this little unit does it does not have a uh, power transformer it's wired directly into the circuit to the house power and it's some people call it a widow maker some people call it uh, death in a box other people call it the uh, the uh, worst shock that you never want to get so safety first out here in the shop the other piece of equipment that's very important to use and we'll put this aside is what's called the uh, Variac and what this unit does when it's powered on it allows you to increase the voltage slowly to the device now why would you want to do that many times when you have a piece of older equipment that maybe sat around for a lot of years or maybe has some damage that you're not aware of if you go ahead and plug that directly into the uh, outlet 120 outlet you could see smoke come out you could have a fire or something like that so what you want to do is plug the equipment into this and this allows you to slowly increase the power there and you can take that up to 100 you can probably see that pretty good you can take that up to 120 volts and then you can watch for smokes or weird smells so this is another very uh, important safety feature uh, another very important one that you'll often see me use is some people use uh, old riot shields from police departments and stuff like that. You know, we have vacuum tubes, we have other things that can shatter, we have uh, snips of wire that can be, uh, you can be cutting something and get a tiny piece of wire in your eye. So it's also good to wear eye protection and that's another thing that, uh, that I do too. So. Uh, another issue we have here is um, been taking a computer back and forth and you can see right now I have a I have an empty spot where the computer sits because it's my travel computer I now want to put in a uh, pardon me like I still got a lot of tubes sitting around here and stuff I want to switch this uh, I want to get a permanent computer in here and I have one it's just a question of uh, getting it uh, set up into place and I want to get that set up because I can use that to be the mp3 player to uh, feed in and inject a signal into an amplifier if I'm uh, doing something that uh, you know if I'm working to restore a piece of equipment some other apparatus some people have asked me about we have a, a signal generator that can generate a lot of different frequencies on the AM and the FM band we have another one up there that I picked up for a song because it has a bit of broken glass on it, but it works really well all the way up through the FM signals and things like that. It works beautifully. We have a frequency digital counter for checking frequencies. Oh, what else do we have? A, a DC power supply, Hewlett Packard, that can go up to 50, uh, 50 volts uh, DC, which is very useful here. Uh, we have a uh, distortion analyzer, and this is important for, you know, when the human ear can detect when things are a little off or a signal's not clean, and this gives you a way to visually look at a uh, signal that's injected into here from, say, an amplifier, and it can examine that signal and see how much distortion in half a percent, one percent, one point five percent. It can give you a good idea of uh, seeing how clean the signal is. We have an audio generator here. This is a uh, power supply unit for tube equipment. An old general radio piece, a real sweet piece to provide the power to different uh, uses within the uh, tube circuits. And uh, we have two oscilloscopes here. This is a dual trace for two channels. And this is very useful for visually looking at uh, signals on the screen here. And the same with this uh, single channel old uh, oscilloscope here, 1966 RCA. 
it's a really nice way to get a visual look at his signal because uh, if if uh, if a signal sounds distorted it looks distorted too on the scope and a lot of times the human ear reaches a point where it can't really tell if the signal is as clean as it can be well an oscilloscope will show you you know how if there's any kind of uh, buzz or hum or any kind of interference will show up you know normally when you have uh, something like uh, stereophonic music and two channels you can analyze both channels and of course uh, output to speakers from a stereo unit and amplifier is really alternating current right because sometimes it's loud sometimes it's uh, soft sometimes the uh, you know the notes change so it's all alternating it's not a smooth uh, it's not a smooth flat line it's alternating okay so it's alternating current coming out of that output for speakers so this can take a look at those uh, you can inject say a, a, a signal in from a, a frequency generator here you can inject that into the uh, amplifier and you can actually see how clean the signal looks when it's amplified so these are some of the things guys so uh, just to give you a little heads up on uh, chooching on a Friday afternoon I'm going to be cleaning up the shop in uh, preparation for tomorrow and stay tuned I think we may have a uh, interesting project on tap it's not necessarily going to be uh, audio I have I have vintage fans from the 1920s all kinds of cool stuff that hasn't seen the light of day in years happy Friday everybody